Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 110, our Christmas episode. We're the Cricket Shuffle guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. And I'm Sarah. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Sarah's the happiest person alive right now. Yeah. And <laughs> I am the grouchiest. Also, Sarah, I realized last week you asked us for our address. And yep, never got them. To so your presents will be arriving after Christmas. Wow, lame. Oh, yeah. A true friend would have been like, hey, don't forget to send me your address. Or like follow it uh, up after we finish the podcast. You that's know? what I meant, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Are you not two grown adults who, who can do <laughs> well, those things? I'm pretty sure the way it went was we finished the podcast, mm-hmm. right? And then she was like, no, no, no. This was before or something. Wait, well, okay. I don't, I don't remember when you said it. I know that I asked. Yeah, and- I know too. Stop looking at my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stomach my me. stomach keeps making noise. So Are you right hungry? Now. I thought it was your phone <laughs> vibrating. That's what this sound is. That's what is happening right now. I my stomach makes a variety of noises. I I may be hungry. I also just scarfed <laughs> down like seven Christmas cookies. So yeah, so you could be having could be a little gassy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Anyways, I'd like to start off. That I'm gonna start. We're gonna start off this podcast with a question for Jell because. Listen, I got Joe something, or I got Joe's Christmas gift that's on its way, but I also got him something um, small that wasn't on his list because I saw it and I was like, oh, he might like this. So, Joe, your question is, you got your Christmas gift that's going to be on Christmas morning. Right. Do you want this one now? Because it could be used. Now? Not now, but I mean, it could be, but like you can't. You can't know you can't use it now, but what's the variety? What's like the the genre of the gift? <laughs> um my stomach's been <laughs> <laughs> I mean I... <laughs> we are struggling I, over here. I am hungry because I have not eaten since like one o'clock, but yeah. um it is a it can be used throughout uh it can be used at meal times. I say just open it. Ah, I don't like early Christmas gifts. Yeah, but it's like something. And I also have the same exact thing because I got it for myself. So it's like we literally. I say open it. We have matching. All right, fine. Yeah. (laughs) Is it small? I'm doing a mini Christmas after this as well. My roommate is in New Jersey. And so we're going to exchange gifts. I Uh love this. You should send us our gifts. Send me your address. Well, we're both the same address right now, so that's good. Well, by the time that the mail gets there, you won't still be there, Joe. Well, I'm here till the 27th. It might. No, it won't. They're both the same, so I guess it doesn't matter. From the Buffalo store. It's a Buffalo. Something Buffalo related. You know that I flew Frontier today. Uh-huh. And the you know how they all have animals on their, like every Frontier plane has a different animal? No. Okay, what? well, sorry you're not, or sorry I'm poor and you don't fly Frontier. No, okay, I fly Spirit, so. Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Front, Frontier Airlines, every single one of their aircrafts has a different animal on the wings and on the tail. Oh, I thought you meant a live animal. No, yeah, they just bring a live animal on board. Like, what do you mean they got it? No, but so they had, like, I've always had a different animal. I've never flown the same animal, the same aircraft twice. Um, today's animal was a buffalo. Huh. How poignant. How, what? Poignant. Poignant? Oh, I, I don't know what that means. feel like I know what this is. I mean, I Based on the shape. <laughs> I'm opening it like I don't know what it is. But... Is it a candle? <gasps> it's a rocks, oh, that's so cool. A rocks glass. Or just a glass. Buffalo New York Roots. That's so cool. Thanks, Oh, you guys have matching glasses? And matching sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> we just love each other. I was going to give... I was gonna give the one this is so noisy i know the noise is horrendous right now <laughs> feel any feel bad for anybody listening i was gonna give one, the one to dad but uh-huh. he doesn't need any more glasses that's good yeah and i was like yeah, i'm just gonna keep for myself <laughs> fun fact i don't i have a few of my own glasses i don't have a lot of my own dishes down in florida so this is very helpful <laughs> I use, well, because like every house I've lived in has been either furnished or my roommates have an excessive amount of dishes. 
So I just use their shit. You I have I... decided that when I move out, I'm going to have two plates, two forks, yeah. two knives, two bowls. And like, I have a whole dish set. That's all I need. Like right. I've got four plates, four bowls, four spoons, forks, and knives, but like they have all been put in a box so far away from everything. I've just never pulled them out. I bought them when I was in college. I think that's all you need is two of everything. And so I just signed my lease, like I was telling you guys before. So I'm going to be moving into Manhattan with my best friend and she's lived in Manhattan now for two years. So she already has like, she's got it all. There you go. Everything. Yeah. Except like we're getting like a little like bar cart and there are these wine glasses that I want so bad. So I will be getting those and I'm going to get them in a set of four. So of course, everything yeah. comes in a set of four because yeah. that's just the norm. Well, um, like these come in a set of two or a set of four. So I'm going to get the oh. set of four. Naturally. So you big wine drinker? Oh yeah. So it's oh, in this yeah. cup right now. It's not in a wine glass, but I wanted to be festive with this cup. That's wine. It's rosé. Looks like whiskey. <laughs> Alexa. No. <laughs> what was she about to start doing? My package was delivered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Except it is the holidays, so I believe she did tell me that she will not disclose that information. Oh, that's right. They do. Shout out oh, Amazon. So cool. Because uh, they don't give away secrets. Yeah. I, I do remember her. She, I ordered, I got something, and it wasn't even a Christmas gift. And she was like... Oh, by the way, to remind you, uh, during the holidays, I won't say what you got or whatever she said. Yeah. So I did not have to say that. Yeah. When my, I wish she had been doing that year round because when my black dildo showed up. <laughs> okay, Joe. <laughs> it was so hard for me to get that out without laughing. <laughs> I thought you were actually going to be serious. No, no, no. What no, did no. I? Total joke. When Shannon's birthday gift came, no, you know. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm very excited to give Shannon her Christmas gifts this year. I can't say what it is because this comes out before I'm going to give her her presents. You already showed us what it was. She did? Not on, not while we were recording. Oh, not when we were recording. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So that's he the one has thing. has no idea what the, does not remember. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. It was the... <laughs> I, I'll tell you that. That. Yeah. Well, we can talk about it after if you, I mean I really don't care honestly, yeah but. <laughs> um but I also got her like a bunch of other stuff on from Amazon the other day and it's all getting to my house in Florida tomorrow um obviously I'm not there and she won't be there either so so it's just gonna sit outside no my roommates will be home are they gonna get it for you yeah we'll pull it in time we can hope well yeah hope. I hope if uh if my if I got if I was a roommate I'd be like yeah yeah well if you, if you wanted to bring him in, he'd be here himself. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I think it's going to be a good Christmas this year. I think I, I think I got some good gifts, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to give my mom the gifts I got. I can't say them too loud. I don't want her to hear. But we decided this year that we're going to do more experiences instead of, like, things. Because, like, neither of us need, like, things. God knows anything. I don't need anything. Like, tangible things. So we, like... I don't know what she got me, but you want more moments than, uh, yeah. Like experiences, like things to do. So then like you actually end up celebrating Christmas like all year. Cause one of the things that like I booked for my mom and I to do is in September of next year. Yeah. And one of them's in April. One of them's actually on January 12th. Which yeah. But now you're getting your mom a Christmas gift that she can't even use for the majority of the year. I'm sure she got but, more things, you but it's like, thing? Oh, I got her AirPods. Oh, nice. She's going to kick my ass, but it's fine. Which, wait, what, like like old AirPods or like newer ones? These ones. Yeah, we can't see. Doesn't mean anything. So, right, these ones. Oh, those are like, what, 100 bucks? Mm, like 150. Yeah. But she just like, she has ones that work. They don't really work. They're like not real AirPods. And um... so she like fights with them and they like don't connect to anything. Not that mine connect to my laptop but like they don't connect to her phone like with ease so i got her real ones so no. she'll be like i have ones that work but these ones work better yeah and you won't be arguing with them these are original yeah apple made in california um designed in california who knows um <laughs> before you continued with your that you got, you have something in January, you have something in April, and you have something in September. You said September 1st. Now, I wouldn't be able to do that because 
it's like september you know it's nine months away like I yeah you can't plan that shit that far ahead i'm, I'm like i'm i'm just like oh man i want to just i mean i'll be excited to go obviously with whatever it is if whoever got something for me in september i'd be like oh yeah i'm excited to go but i just like man i wish this thing was tomorrow yeah there was some stuff that i like couldn't book because like i didn't like time frame wise i wasn't sure so i got like gift cards to like that place to like right. do that or like I got like gift cards to like local restaurants around our town. So like when we go out to eat, like it's already paid for. Like we don't have to worry about it. Like it, it's fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I don't do that. I can't plan stuff like that. I love, I love, I listen, I love giving like a physical gift. I do. It's like my favorite thing to do. Um, but also like giving an experience and then like you have like a memory. I think that that's really awesome. I have a memory of opening the Christmas present and being like, fuck yeah, just what I wanted. <laughs> this right here, this was a memory, Sarah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But my um, mom and I decided- You can't wrap an year. experience. They yeah, can. I, I, yeah, you can. Well, you, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. But- <laughs> <laughs> Here's tickets to Disney World. Let me wrap Disney World for you. Well, you're not wrapping the experience. You're wrapping- That's what I just said. You can't wrap the experience. Yeah, but it's like you I wrap that and now you're going to have your experience with your Jack and Cranberry in there. I didn't wrap the experience. I gave you the thing to have the experience. Yeah, you gave me the gift. And she's going to whatever. whatever. I'm excited. I don't Everything's care. all digital now. It's yeah. like she's wrapping tickets. It's a great, yes, I am. Well, yes. it could have been digital. Am I right? Yeah. I had to think about it, but like I printed out like the conference list. So like you're still opening something. It's not just like here, check your email. That should I hate, but like hey, check your email. Oh, hey, oh. Days. Check your email. <laughs> Ma, I got you something nice. Log into your computer. <laughs> it's it, that's cool. That's cool though. Skip um, all the spam emails. I just I um I just wouldn't be able to wait that long. No, like I wouldn't like. But, oh yeah, we're, I'm gonna, you know, I I would lay, I would wait. Well, I wouldn't think of that honestly. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I just be like, oh, okay, I gotta get some. Yep. Gotta get something so that I know I have it mm -hmm. and I give it to them. Yep. I I'm not that. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, like I wrote got, everything down and like I've, I tracked it, and then, like I like remember, like it wasn't just like oh, like I forgot about that. I forget. Yeah. One thing that I have written down on like a list of ideas for Shannon is like a an experience. And every, so like for the past two Christmases now, well, this one included in that too. Um, I've looked at it and I go, I don't even know how to go about booking this, when to book it. You know, there's something what we got to plan it? together. I can't plan it myself and I just expect her to have the time off. Right. Yes. What is it? I can't say it. What but if I plan it for, for her birthday? You I'm just, going. never mind. You're not going to get her birthday. Well, her we birthday? could plan it in June. No. I'll forget by then. Well, see, I guess that's like with what Sarah did. She booked it in September. So it's like so far away. So you got plenty of time for her to be like, for Shannon to be like, yo, I got to take off for this, you know? Yeah. So what I'm thinking is I may just like ask her, you know, be like, hey, would you be interested in doing this? And then just plan it together. Fair. That's good. Not that I can't plan stuff on my own. I just like, she works so fucking all the time. Really? I work a lot of time, a lot of the time too, but like, Shannon like gives away her six hour shifts to work, to work 10 hour shifts and then works like seven days a week. So I'm just like, I don't fucking know what your schedule is. <laughs> she wants that money. Yeah. I mean, great. Great for her. It's miserable, but wants that no offense, it. Shannon. No. <laughs> work sucks. Sometimes I get it. You're miserable. Sometimes everybody is. Um, speaking of gifts, I was telling Joe earlier. Oh, but also really quick. Sorry, Dave. Uh, shout out Shannon. She just got trainer at Disney. So at Safari. Right. So shout out. Does she get more money? Wow. Yeah, she gets more money. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> How about the money? <laughs> Anyways, what were you about to say? Um, I meant to, I meant to email these pictures to myself so I could pull them up. But uh, I was telling Joe before the podcast, that I was going to bash on my mother. Oh, yeah because she would ask me she texted uh, text me the other night and said what i wanted sneakers for christmas i want a new pair of sneakers a new pair of jays daddy needs a new pair of sneakers <laughs> so just i just so she was like what what style sneaker 
and tell me she sent you some like i just wait <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i just was like any style sneaker uh or, or like an everyday sneaker you know i don't need like a a running but, shoe or right but i guess i should have just said running sneaker because mm -hmm. these are the well this is what she sent me first one now i'm not saying it's going to be this specific one but like it's definitely going to be some new balances something like this this is Is what you wanted or what you don't want? What I she she sent me that. How about this, right? Oh, I don't hate it. And I was like, it, not, I, it could have been way worse. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and then sends me this, the exact like, same shoe. Well, it's a high, it's a high top. It's the exact same. Shoe. So then, and then she sends me. <laughs> <laughs> she sends me this. <laughs> She legit sends me something a 50 year old man. Oh, yeah. Who, gets With, who tucks his t shirt into his shorts. Yes. So now, then she sends me Pumas. Oh, where are we at? Now, they're not bad. Those are a little better. But I was like, nah. They look like chef shoes. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> then we got these. Jesus Christ. Okay. And I was like, what? does she not i was like just i was like the, after this one i was like okay i guess i should have said like a running shoot like yeah like shoot. a reference photo yeah so then i sent her these i was like these are the ones i have except they're black okay oh, i have those those are the sneakers i wear yeah, in all white though i can't do white no. i can't do white shoes oh every basically all of my like go-to shoes like year round are, are white i can't i i i <clears throat> i'm always getting dirty yeah, I can't, white shirts, white sneakers. White I don't shirts. like white. I don't like white any other article of clothing. Just white shoes. I mean, I like the look of white shoes. Oh, I love They're the look. Yeah. Clean, but I. It's just like I wouldn't want to wear them. I got white sneakers recently. Like my brand new pair of sneakers are white, for the most part. Um, and I was putting up Christmas lights for Shannon at her house, and I was like walking in, like you know, like the in the bushes and like in the wood chips. Get back inside dirt all over my sneakers i'm like these are I, the first day i wore them I'm like, oh my God, i don't like new because when i get new sneakers the sneakers i have on now I mean, they're kyrie's if you guys know no idea what that basketball means. player <laughs> so I know a basketball player but couldn't tell you what his shoes look like yeah so i got these and i wore them i always keep them in the box yeah i wore them just like if I was either playing basketball or if I just knew that I wasn't going to be outside, but now they're just, now I'm just like, well, I, I need sneakers and I really don't care about these anymore. Yeah. They're three years old or two years old. So I'm just like, okay, they're going to be an everyday sneaker now. So then when I get my new ones, hopefully those will stay in the box. I do, th those will be like special occasion sneakers. Yeah. I'll be like, okay, we're going out. I'm going to wear these as long as it's not like, Hey, we're going out to play fucking soccer in the rain and mud. I'm not gonna. Yeah. But that's fair. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know what she thinks I'm wearing, but it's not it's not that. It's not any of <laughs> not those any of those shoes. options. And then she was like, Well, they can't be mesh because you can't wear mesh shoes at work because you have to wear leather shoes at work. I go, uh, listen, minor mesh. I go one. I don't. They're not for work. Yeah. And two, I don't care what works. At, I don't wear. Yeah. Like fuck work. I mean, my these shoes aren't mesh that I that I wear to work, but like, so that if, if I'm getting sneakers and they're comfortable, I'm gonna wear them at work. Yeah. Okay. Because nobody's gonna come up to you and be like, "Can't wear those sneakers." Oh, no, they will. Oh, well, fuck them. Oh, they will. I was been told. She's frozen. No, she's not frozen. Huh? Oh, she's mm. a little delayed. A little delayed. <laughs> we thought you were frozen. You know, frozen too. I'm, I'm making sure my Chipotle is going to get delivered. Get off your fucking phone. Over. Hey, how about since we didn't give you our addresses, we'll give them to you now and you ship us Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> no, you still have to pay for my Chipotle for winning, which is what I was going to say could be my Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah that works. You can you won that fair and square. I'll give you a little extra money if you just order me Chipotle. No. Yeah, send us the bill. Yeah. For this one. I'm okay. fucking hungry, Sarah. For all of them. For all, all of them. Chipotle Thursday is sponsored by the podcast. I want my own Chipotle 
gift card card yeah like the celebrity card that right that's get. what i mean i don't mean gift card. you can I get a like, gift card I, like, <laughs> I, like, I could just get a gift card um so my flight today all right more airport stories. yeah i always have airport stories i'm always fucking flying um get to the airport nothing too crazy um the little little kid who's like sitting with her mother in like the like waiting at the gate she was watching uh cocomelon what is that Oh, you know that. I hate Coco Melon. What is Coco that? Coco Melon. Never heard. You've of never. I swear, you and like the, the <laughs> guys have watched it before. <laughs> it's got that stupid intro, and then it goes Coco Melon. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking worst intro in the world. Most knowing shit. Yeah. And they just kept singing. Great. The only song that this episode was playing was Wheels on the Bus. Yeah, my my niece watches it, and she, the only one she likes to listen to is is How to Wash Your Hands, and I'm like. Okay, we get it. Wash you know how to wash your hands. Wait, so what? It's like an informative video. It's like it's like a little kids' TV show for babies. Oh, it's you know <laughs> teaching them the fucking A B D's. <laughs> <laughs> so is Coco Melon the person who? Um, I don't makes- know. I've never seen the show. <laughs> it, they're like they're like babies that like walk babies around. that are way above way Coco ahead Melon of their time. Is a baby? Coco yes. Melon is a baby. It's like a like a. It's babies teaching babies how the world works. Yes. Teaching yes. them their taxes, four hundred one ks, ins and outs of the market. Yeah. What the fuck's and a four hundred one k? By the way. <laughs> I know you know, Sarah. You probably know what a four hundred one k is. Yeah, I do. For your retirement plan. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know why. Why is it called four? Like I know it's a retirement plan. Oh, so why is it? So your question's not. Yeah. What, what is four hundred one k? Oh. Um, I don't know, maybe because they're like, holy shit, if you got $401,000 in your phone, you can retire. You could, maybe that's like what your goal is. $401,000. You guys keep talking. I'll look okay. Up. So anyways, so she was watching Cocomelon. And so like, I had that fucking shit to deal with. Other than that, not too bad. Sitting at the gate. Um, getting on the plane was a little annoying. Uh I had the aisle seat, so I was happy with that. I sat down, perfectly fine. People start they coming on, but like you know, sitting in the aisle, you like lean on that armrest and you just get fucking shoulder wrecked the entire goddamn time. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there, and then these these two people get on, and the guy was like, "Oh, do we have the window seat?" And they were sitting like the, on the across the aisle from me, and the girl was like, yeah, "Well, at least one of us is going to have the window the window seat." So like, do you want it or do I like? Do you want me to take it? And he was like, "Well, you can take it for now. If we need to switch later, we can." And I was just like, "Switch later? You're on a fucking airplane. You sit down and you fucking yeah. stay there." Staying, and so we're sitting there. Plane takes off. I'm reading my book, <clears throat> and this bitch who took the window seat, by the way, is talking, but like very loud oh no like you know how when you talk on a plane it's always like a hushed tone it's not whispering but you're like a you're a hushed tone well she didn't get get that memo um it was very 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 loud and i have by the end of the flight i was like this girl must be drunk because nobody acts this way sober and if they do fuck them it was just so annoying. And before that even happened, we hadn't even started moving yet. Oh, the girls, no. the little girl sitting in front of her is sitting in the seat, hacking up a goddamn lung, oh just coughing God. like crazy. Oh, wait, thank God wear everyone's wearing masks. Oh, okay. I'm like, thank fucking God I got this mask on. Because this little girl, oh, she's got COVID. <laughs> got something. She's got something all right. She was hacking <laughs> it up. Like so much so that the older woman in front of them, I'm invested in this whole side of the plane now. The older woman in front of the little girl coughing to death turned around and gave her mother a handful of cough drops. And was like, she was like, here, just to help with the cough. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And the older woman was like, no, it's all right. Like, I don't mind that she's coughing. I just like to help with the cough. Here's some cough drops. I'm like, I mind the coughing. Yeah, I, I minded it. Because she was like, you know, it was like one of those like really wet, deep coughs. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like that. And so... I was like, I was thinking like this little girl is getting these cough drops and her mom told her, oh, they're like candy. I'm like, these are, these are going to have some menthol action. 
Yeah. They're going to clear your shit up. And this little girl who's got to be no more than five years old is not going to like these. Why not? And this is because I don't like them. You don't, you don't like oh. cough drops? I like cough drops, not the ones that like make my whole throat cold. I like those. I, I like the black that. licorice ones personally. Ugh. But anyways, so I don't know if they ever gave you the cough chops, whatever happened, but five minutes go by. We still haven't moved. The coughing has ceased a little bit, <clears throat> but then the girl yells mid, mid cough that hadn't happened in a while. She goes, my tummy hurts. <laughs> like what the fuck's going on right now? And like, I'm sitting there trying to read my book, but I'm so distracted by everything going on. And she says that and then nothing else. And so I'm like, is why this do, girl going to be... Why do kids insist on yelling? Yeah. And so, like, and now the mother is sitting in the middle seat. Kids got the window. Dad's got the aisle. Mom's paying very much attention. What do you... <laughs> why do kids insist on yelling? <laughs> so why do they have to? Mom's paying attention to the kid. Dad's got Bose headphones on. Some noise blocking. Noise cancel. Like, he's checked out. He's watching Jim Gaffigan. Comedian. Yep. He's done for. Um, and so she says my tummy hurts and then nothing. And I go, is this girl going to get sick? What is the second we take off? Cause like, that's a, you know, it's not an easy thing to be on a plane. Probably your first time. It's not, she might throw up. And then a biggest fear. all of a sudden I hear. <laughs> <laughs> and just into a, into one of the vomit bags. Oh, Again, yeah. the plane has not moved from the gate yet we are just sitting there i think they were like either double checking to make sure they had everybody on board or double checking to make sure they had all the luggage on board we just haven't moved girls already throwing up her every her entire fucking breakfast and so then she like starts throwing up handled it like a champ i might add though like when this girl is at drinking age she's golden because she threw up and i heard it and then, by the way, very liquidy for anyone who's wondering. <laughs> Heard it. And then she goes, show daddy, show daddy. So, he, she nudges the dad. He takes the headphones off and like looks over and is like, oh my God. <laughs> and oh, like, fuck. yeah. <laughs> so then he grabs his vomit bag and hands it over to her. And she, and she keeps saying, I've got more, I've got more. Like she knew she had to throw up more again like a champ was doing very well yeah um and so like she would say i've got more and her mom would be like wait 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 like let me get the next bag ready for you and she would hold it until the next bag was open i was like damn this is fucking incredible uh and then again because we hadn't taken off yet seatbelt lights on we're getting ready to start backing up we can't nobody can move so dad takes the first vomit bag and just puts it at his feet and so i am you know just fully attentive now I look orange liquid just in the bag and I'm just like, oh <coughs> my God. <laughs> so then I'm like, <laughs> so then I'm, like yeah, Mom, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like, these bags are made of paper. How long can a liquid sit in paper before it makes its way through? I don't know the answer to that question. Thankfully, I fell asleep before I found out the answer to that question. I have, go ahead, Sarah, if you had a question, or were you just adjusting something? No, I was fixing the light. Oh, so like, I'm sitting there, and like, we start backing up, right? And then we start taking off, and I can see the the, the orange juice. Let's just call it orange juice. No, please don't. Okay, <laughs> I can see the liquid has now, like the rest of the plane as it's lifting off, it's leaning back, right? It's it's towards the back of the bag. I go, this thing is either going to tip over or break through the, the fucking seam and just start running down the goddamn aisle. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, if that fucking happens, I'm, I'm jumping off the plane. I do not care. And then I fell asleep. So I don't know what happened. Could have all just gone. Did you look? To I didn't notice anything when, when I woke up eventually. So I'm hoping it didn't. Cause I'm, you know, I, I have to assume that the inside of the bag is like lined with something to make it last a little bit longer. Well, or maybe like when he came around with like the drink cart, he like threw it away. Do you imagine if he was like, here, here's, here's my daughter's. Yeah, my daughter's vomit. 
Like if I mean, I'm I'm hoping that at one point he got up to go to the bathroom and just threw it out. That's what I think probably happened because when I woke up, the seatbelt light was already off and the bag was gone. So like again, I had been asleep for probably about forty five minutes. So we're definitely you know already at cruising altitude by that point. Mm-hmm. So cruising altitude. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what it's called. Um, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so there was that. But then back to this bitch who wouldn't shut the fuck up. She, the entire flight, was like, (laughs) so like, I woke up and I hear her go, okay, babe, just like this volume. Okay, babe, let's listen to music now. Chill. She's got her babe next to her. Yeah, I assume it was her her boyfriend. She got her babes. Babes. Um... And so then the, the, she was like talking to the girl. Oh, she, they like started recording something. They were like, like vlogging on her phone. And she was like, all right, we're on the plane. Uh, time to put, uh, time to put on the chin diapers. And the little girl packing up along goes chin diapers. <laughs> and her parents start laughing. I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Uh, dude, I, the worst thing about people is is like somebody does something and they're like for your for this example yeah, yeah, yeah. chin diapers stupid yeah okay i don't want dumb as shit ever one, one i'm on a plane i don't want to be in the plane already uh-huh. okay and now i've in in being on this plane for 10 minutes i've seen a girl throw up mm-hmm. i've heard you talking as loud as you can mm-hmm. and now you're recording and you say chin diapers and now a little girl piggybacks off of your chin diapers shouts it Mm -hmm. so now the parents have to piggy off her daughter yelling chin diapers they start laughing and then sooner or later everybody's singing fucking kumbaya on the fucking (laughs) okay like shut up we're on this point for two hours yeah just shut the fuck up so then her dad the little girl's dad is like it's like oh no that's fine like i think that that's what they should just name them at they should market them as chin diapers I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, he see, goes, like the announcement they make in the airport said, should say federal regulations mandate that you must wear your chin diaper at all times. I go, I'm going to fucking murder everybody on this goddamn plane. <laughs> see, see, like he, he says something like that. And I'm like, look, look what you started. Yeah, don't encourage now, this now, shit. Now everybody be like, ah, uh, you know, it's just like, and now everybody's best buds. Yeah. Because you said chin diapers. I'm like. And so now that this couple that's fucking annoying has been what's the word I'm thinking? Encouraged, right? They, they got their, right. their gratification. Got their they go, they go back to the vlog and they, twice, the girl says, chin diapers activate. <laughs> like a fucking bitch. <laughs> Dude, see, that's the point. You can't, you can't gratify stupidity. Yeah. Uh, no, annoyingness. Yeah it's Um, it's i can't even believe it and then by the end of the flight this the fucking loud girl was best friends with the little girl and was like are you used to the cold yet are you used to the cold you're going to be getting out of the plane it's going to be really cold outside are you used to the cold and the girl goes do you hear that noise because like this was like as the plane has already this is like literally at the end of the flight the plane has landed and the wings you know how they're like retracting the shit back in they make that noise so the girl the little girl is like oh what's that noise i'm like do you hear that and The loud bitch is just ignoring this little girl's question of, do you hear that? And goes, yeah, but are you used to the cold? Are you even listening to her? And then she spent five minutes with this little girl saying, do you know SpongeBob SquarePants? I go, bitch, she's four. She doesn't know SpongeBob. Oh my God. (laughs) There is, um, there's this guy at work. This is, this is to the, this is to the, um, giving a reaction to something that does not need a reaction. Yeah. And then everybody joins along. So this guy at work is a supervisor. His name will not be disclosed or okay. whatever. But he, when, when the machine has to be shut off, there's only this one machine. It gets shut off like around 1230. Okay. He, and at, at night, 1230 at night, not in the afternoon. I don't work in the afternoon, but whatever. Um, he like musters up all his might and gets like all the power in his voice to yell, cut it. He just yells, cut it. So they know. 
Time to turn the machine on. Right. But this is them. This is him. Okay. This is the person feeding the machine to turn it off. This is the supervisor. So it's not like, so he's like yelling to the guy, the, you know, the end of the machine too, I guess. But like, you don't have to do that. So now he did it once. He did it like a second time. And then he did it a third time. I'm just, this isn't like exact, exactly, but I'm assuming this is how it went because let's just say by the third time he did it, people like the other supervisors, they just got a kick out of it. So now he, oh, I'm funny. No, you're not. You're, you're fucking, fucking annoying. Moron, okay? <laughs> you're a moron. Okay. So now people, they get their chuckles. So now he's like, oh, I'm going to keep doing it. So going. now, so now he does it. Then another supervisor who's even like he goes like deeper but he's like cut it you know and now now when he does it he would say cut it before now he just goes ah he just like yells just nothing okay so now he does it and now it's a chain reaction i swear to god of at least 15 people this guy this the main guy the main <laughs> dumbass who started it okay he yells cut it then you'll hear the next supervisor and if he's not there, you'll hear the 15 other people just go, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut all throughout my, my unit. And I'm like, why is this? We are in a work environment. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Like, I don't care. It's two seconds of them saying, cut it. Yeah, big whoop de doo, but I don't care. Okay. I don't want to have, I'm here to work. Mm -hmm. I already don't like you people. Yep. Okay? So don't say cut it. Yep. Okay? Let him do his fucking cut it, dude. I hate it. And they just like, and this. I'm not the only one I might add. Okay. The, the people that I work around, there's just you, it's like around 1230 and he'll yell and we'll just, yeah, there it goes. Why did we're just, why did you do that? You can't stand that shit. Oh my God. People stupid or people stupid. People are stupid. <laughs> stupid people. People, stupid people need, should not get any reaction. No. Okay. If they're stupid, just leave them alone. Just leave them. And like, I, it, I just, I could not believe how the thing that really, like really sent me, set me off with this girl was she got up to go to the bathroom. Now she was in the middle seat when I woke up eventually. Right. So her and her baby, babe had switched seats. Oh, I thought you were talking about the little girl. No, her and her babe had switched seats. Um, and so she gets up and she like knocks on the, or taps the shoulder of the woman in the aisle who's just trying to watch your fucking anime. And yeah, I was very like, I was watching everything going on. <laughs> so she taps on her shoulder. She goes, Hey, I'm sorry. I need to use the bathroom again. And I go again, how many times we've been up in the air for an hour. How many times have you gone to the bathroom? Yeah. What are you, you're not drinking anything. Yeah. Well, they were drinking Coke. Oh. Um, so woman gets up, she goes to the bathroom. She's like, thank you. Sorry. Blah, blah. And like the entire way down to the fucking bathroom is talking and apologizing for having to get up again. I go, shut the fuck up and go to the bathroom. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> so the woman sits down, starts watching her anime again. Bitch comes back. And the woman watching the anime was very attentive and realized the girl got back, immediately gets out of the seat to let her in, is now standing there and waiting. The girl, just on her phone, just standing there, and so, like, now everybody's like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? The girl with the anime is just staring at her, just like, you going to get in? She's still on her phone. Yeah. So then her boyfriend, sitting in the window, goes, babe, oh. babe, hey. And she goes, what? Oh, sorry. Just like, she forgot where she was. She's like, oh, my God. I had, a, I had a just nudge her kneecap and I, I yo, fucking, yo, sit down. Okay. <laughs> I, and I, I, that was like, I was like, fuck you. You're so fucking all like, I can't fucking stand you. She's and then the when they got off the plane, we all went down to baggage claim. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, I beat, I beat them down. Cause they were like, damn Joe. Yeah. <laughs> beat them up. So they were like, they were literally directly across from me in the aisle, like on the plane. So they were the same row just across the aisle. The woman who was watching the anime, I let her go in front of me to get off the plane. And I was immediately going to step out behind her. And they were like, oh, you go ahead. I go, I was. <laughs> I just kept on walking. <laughs> and I just continued yeah. on, said Merry Christmas to the flight attendants, got down to baggage claim. 
And then they get down there and there's like a little cubby in the very back, right by the you know, thing. In. And it says place uh, tote bags or something like that here. Obviously something for the airport employees to utilize. Um, this loud bitch comes down. I can hear her fucking a mile away coming down the escalator, makes her way down, runs over to it and just sits in there. And she goes, ah, oh, but I'm the tote bag. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. And then she goes, we have to document this. We have to document everything. Pulls her phone back out, starts fucking vlogging and shit. I go, nobody cares about your fucking airport vlog. And I can say this because I've done an airport vlog. <laughs> so I can make fun of those people. <laughs> and nobody gives a fuck. So then her boyfriend goes to grab the backpack, not off the thing, not off the carousel, but like off the ground. And he like knocked it over and something fell and touched the ground, the floor. And she goes, no. And then she goes, who wants to burn this? It touched airport floor. Who wants to burn it? Talk, just scream it to the general public. I go, shut up, please. Uh, I wish I had said that. <laughs> Is she going to burn the backpack that was on the ground? Because that touched airport floor. Yeah, exactly. What's wrong with an airport floor? I don't fucking know. I'm sure they clean it on a regular right. basis. They, 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 they take the Zamboni out. Yeah. They clean it, I'm sure. Okay. It may not be the... I wouldn't eat off it, but like if you're fucking... I don't really like public spaces. I... Right. But if your wallet touched the floor, you wouldn't say no. burn it. But I would say, first of all, talking about burning anything in an airport is pretty taboo. Not the best move. Yeah. <laughs> He's yelling burning into it. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. So that was my experience today. I hope that those people are not on my flight back to Orlando because I will kill them. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that either, but you know. Well, I'm not in the airport anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but if they do die, you have. Online. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's premeditated now. <laughs> so, Sarah, what's, um, what's your. Uh day or week been like um i went to the billy joel concert on monday this is so good madison square garden it was the first time that i saw billy joel um my mom has seen him and then my best friend and my best friend's mom they've seen him a couple of times before um we, my my best friend and her mother were supposed to go last year but because of covid it all got canceled so their tickets got moved to monday and over the summer, Jess was telling me about it. And then I just bought my mom and I tickets and like surprised her with them. And so I took PTO, my mom took the day off and we spent like the whole day in the city and nothing, like I had no strange city encounters, like none. That's crazy. You're like in the center of the city and you had no strange encounters. Yeah. No homeless guy, no. Nothing. Nobody, nobody screaming something random. Yeah. Oh, well, so there was this couple that got in like a huge argument on the subway, like in the subway, like terminal as we were headed back up towards um, Jess's apartment. So we got off and um, th this woman is screaming. Like, I don't even know what she's yelling about. She's just yelling at this guy. And she's like, I'm done. Like, I'm leaving. Like, fuck this. Fuck you. Like, leaving. Like, screaming. It is, like, echoing through the terminal. Jeez. And he's like, what are you doing? We have to get on the train. Like, where are you going? She's like, I'm done with you. Fuck this. And she, like, runs <laughs> up the stairs. And this guy chases her. And we're, like, going up the stairs on the other side. And as he passes us, he like mumbles under his breath and he's like, happy fucking birthday to me. <laughs> it's like, oh no. They're like, and then we get to the top of the stairs and they're blocking the exit and they're screaming at each other, like screaming, yelling, everything in between. And we just stand there and we turn around and we walk back down the stairs. Cause I'm like, I don't want to be like anywhere near this situation and then they both left the terminal i don't know what happened to them but they were still screaming at each other on the street damn i'd like to know and we walk birthday. away and yeah. my mom goes, that's one great birthday gift yeah happy <laughs> fucking birthday to that guy yeah 
But other than that, like no strange city encounters. We went in the, um, early, like in the afternoon, we hung out at my best friend's apartment. And then we went to this place called Pasta Eater. And they, you guys aren't going to like this because you don't like cheese, but they have those like big cheese wheels and they put the pasta in there and they oh, like. Yeah, dude, is that what, that's where I saw it. I saw, yeah. Your because story. I, yeah. I watched that video and I was like, is that fucking like macaroni in, ch- in a cheese wheel it was fettuccine <laughs> and i was like oh okay and i was like that is too much yeah i mean like you're talking it about so cheese good. it was so good and then they sprinkled more pancetta on the top it was fantastic so we ate there and cheddar, and then it's we- like cheddar in a pan no it's not, <laughs> Are you no, it's not. yeah pancetta uh, it's not cheese yeah, he was making yeah, a joke. I was making a joke. Oh. I, that's why I had to I had to make sure because I was like, I didn't know what pancetta was. <laughs> Neither do I. So that's why I was like, it just sounds like cheddar. It's it's like a it's like a meat, like a, a meat. Like some, they like fry it. It's usually in spaghetti carbonara, which I don't think you guys would like either. Nope. Wait, I want to try this pancetta now if it's meat. Is it like thin sliced meat? Yeah, and it's like cooked. But it's more of like a Dude, I mean, like I listen, like I want to say it's like sautéed, but I'm not entirely sure if it's sautéed. Seared, maybe. Yeah, I think so. And it's cut very into like very small pieces, and like be- so, it's like a a topping. My, I mean, listen, sir. I wish I liked cheese because sometimes it looks good. Because the stuff you guys, you cheese folk, talk about you cheese aficionados, and like because like everything has cheese. Yeah. And it all just looks so good, but I'm like, I just don't. It's all so good. Like it. I just don't like eating feet. So <laughs> sorry. So I have another cheese, another cheese story, which continues with this one, is that then we left um pasta eater and we went to I don't remember the name of the place, but it's like a German bar. And they had um it was all set up like a winter wonderland in the back. And so we were just pretty much going there for drinks but they um had like what they advertised as soft pretzels and beer cheese so we got them and it was straight up like nacho cheese it was not beer cheese Mm -hmm. it was like queso see joey beer cheese is good beer cheese is good but we we did not get beer cheese yeah i can't do but we didn't get beer cheese we got queso and we're like um this isn't really what we wanted, so they took it off the bill. But um, but you ate it anyways, didn't it you? Was, yeah. Nice. I mean, we ate all the pretzels, but we didn't eat the cheese. We used mustard instead. Oh, mustard with pretzels is so good. So I... good. So they took the, they took the cheese dip off and um, kept the pretzels. When I went to go see um, Sebastian Maniscalco in Rochester. Um, there was one, two people, two, two, um, I don't know if they were homeless, but you know, they were out there and the one guy had tickets, but at, but the one guy was like spitting out Bible verses, I think, and how like Jesus loves everybody or something like that. And then the other guy joined in. So I'm guessing they were together or they just, I don't know. They, became they just really friends. both love Jesus. <laughs> so there was that that happened in um when i went to the to the sebastian men's calico and i got a pretzel there not from the guys but from oh. from inside the <laughs> inside the arena yeah and i don't like cheese you know you usually get pretzel and cheese so i asked if they had marinara sauce so i get the marinara with a sauce. pretzel yeah that's sacrilegious that's yeah. disgusting no sense marinara sauce you know I needed something. I needed something. You ever get a pizza pretzel from what's that place? Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's? Yeah, but I don't put marinara sauce on it. Well, if you get a pizza pretzel, you would. I've had a pizza pretzel and I don't put marinara sauce on it. You just said that. You just said <laughs> no. No, I have had a pizza pretzel and I don't put marinara sauce on it. No. Oh, she said no to whatever. Um, so, but yeah, no, I, I like to. I will eat a pretzel with nothing, with like no dip, but I, I was, I always ask if they have, you know, something. 
like at the at Darien Lake, they usually just have cheese. So I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. I'm just going to eat it plain. So I, at an arena, I was like, okay, they're going to have like something, I think. So I was like, do you have, or mom, mom got it. So she asked, do you have marinara sauce? They go, yeah, but it's not, um, it's not warm. Just so you know, like it's because they keep it in the fridge. Right. But they keep the cheese in the heater that mm-hmm. the pretzels are in. So the yeah. cheese stays warm. I go, you can't put marinara sauce in the fucking well, I feel food. like they're not often getting asked for marinara sauce, so. Yeah, but like they got it. Who wants cold marinara sauce for anything? I mean, I still dipped it in the marinara sauce. That's a good point. Yeah, nobody uses it, cold it was, marinara sauce. It wasn't like they had a jug of it. Right. Right. And they like gave me a cup. They had it like the cheese comes in. It had the tinfoil thing on it. Oh. And you peel it back. You dip oh. it in. So I was like, so they keep it in the fridge. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that's where they shouldn't be doing that. So she's like, I mean, I'll take it to him, but I don't know if he'll like it. And so I ate it anyways. It was still good. Yeah. Well, I need to job done. I need something good. But. Um, at work the other day. So, like, you know, we're getting busier with the holidays coming up. I'm not there anymore. So, fuck everybody at work. Um, <laughs> but the busier we get, the crazier people get, right? Naturally. Sarah, you know this. You work at Disney World. Oh, yeah. So, give me a second. I put, I put the note in my phone. The other day, I was walking through, like, our stroller parking lot. And there was a. a conversation I overheard and it was this guy so like but I, I heard the conversation wasn't really paying it any attention and then I turned around to see who the fuck was having this conversation because I was like this is like a weird conversation that I'm overhearing so this guy was it was a grown-ass man with kids and a family that that part matters and he was also extremely overweight that part doesn't matter so much but it it bothered me (laughs) so (laughs) so he's i like hear this he's got a very like unique voice it's like raspy and annoying and he starts talking about how like what they're going to do after they leave the park right and so he goes well the kids want to go back after we, we do one more ride or something and like go to the pool it was 60 fucking degrees outside so Pretty cold for Florida. Definitely not pool weather, especially a pool that's not heated. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, so they were like, well, the kids want to go back and go to the pool. He was saying all this. And uh, he was like, and I actually want to get some time in at the arcade before they close tonight. And I'm just, so that's like, I heard that because he was like, kids. And then he said he wanted to go to the arcade. And I go, who is saying this shit? And that's when I turned around and saw this old fat dude. And I was like, sir. He wants, to, he wants to, you know. Do not fucking if it. Listen, I love the arcade, but I am twenty five years old. And don't have children. January last huh? January. This January. January twenty twenty. I crushed the arcade when I was down there. Yeah, uh, don't get me wrong. Arcades are great, but also Disney arcades don't have a whole lot to offer. Secondly, <laughs> if you're a grown ass adult and you go, I want to get some time in at the arcade, I'm like, your priorities are out of fucking whack, sir. And that's when I turned around and noticed this guy. And I was just like, oh, that checks out. Like, if you looked at him, you would have been like, oh, this man is a grown child. Big arcade guy? What? Big arcade, big arcade guy. guy? Big arcade guy. A big arcade guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got the big guy. Yeah, he was big. He was a big boy. That's not what I meant. That's not what that's I meant, I meant. <laughs> yes, That's why we repeated it twice. Twice, yeah. Big. Uh, yeah, so I was like, that. literally, the second I took one look at him with his receding hairline, his long hair in the back, Looked like he hadn't showered that day. Probably just sweat because he's so large. Makes sense that he's the arcade guy. You can't control it. You can lose some weight. Don't shame him. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> uh, and then I have a question for you guys. Okay. Totally unrelated to the fat guy. Um, do you remember... This is a two-part question. Do you remember the first place you ever made out with someone? <laughs> <laughs> let's go with sarah first i have to think yeah uh, okay what is it a basement nice 
<laughs> I really confuse on where this is going, but um, well, it's, it's it gets funnier. Let me think, because you said you said made out with somebody, and I just thought about my first kiss, like and immediately, just like like it happened yesterday. I was like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the, yeah, the same thing just happened to me. Um, first place I made out with someone was movie theater. Nice, nice. Secretariat was the movie. Oh, good movie. Yeah, didn't didn't watch most of it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Kissing does not take precedent over, or does not take um precedent. Is right. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, does not take <laughs> good job, that over. Yeah, I know, right? Um, Secretary. Secretary. Okay. I watched the whole movie eventually. Um, I don't know. You don't know. I do not know. So your first kiss wasn't you making out with this girl, whoever you kissed. You know the girl. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. You say whoever this girl is. I'm like, I, um, no, because we definitely did not make out. Well, she would have been the first girl you made out with too, right? Yeah. So where the fuck was it? Yeah, but the first kiss was not the first make out. Right. But, I'm, but like, it's the same girl. So just think through the relationship. Well, let me think. Where was year. the first place you made out? <laughs> For a year. Okay. Um. I don't know the front lawn standing on the front lawn or laying on the front lawn <laughs> sitting on the front lawn <laughs> maybe i think <laughs> we had a party we we're playing um manhunt and we just got bored because like we could have started making out <laughs> we were just like all right let's just make out <laughs> if i recall correctly yeah well you know when you're a teenager you fucking do anything because we were like oh no we were hiding ah we were hiding there it you, is. You know where the bushes, you, you you know, like the bushes right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just sitting there and it's like the the bushes were so tall that it's like dark right, like right under them. Mm-hmm. So it's just like well, hey. we're just <laughs> sitting here. What else are we gonna do? You know? <laughs> no oh. one's finding us. It was like, dude, it was <laughs> no long, one's finding us. <laughs> it was a long time. Okay. I honestly don't think that's the first time, but I can we'll take it as the first time. That's a good answer. S- second part to this question uh excluding the house anything in a home where is the most common place that you've made out with someone so like you know like excluding like beds couches showers that's it dude or not showers (laughs) (laughs) i mean like that's it like i wasn't out in public Mackinac? Mac- no. No. Never like in a car? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say mine would have to be the car. Yeah. That's about it. But like, so mine oh. is the movie theater. <laughs> 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 but it's only a total of two because, like, most of mine have been in like a private s- space, like inside a house. Um, yeah. So, like, I had to, like, th- the reason I brought this up is this was brought up at work. Um, it was me and, uh, my friend, Emily, we were just sitting there talking about this shout out, Emily. She, know, she actually told me to talk about this on the podcast. Um, and we were sitting there and I think she brought it up and had mentioned that when she was in like high school, I think, uh, there were like seven different guys, um, that she had just had gone on dates with and each one of them somehow ended up making out with her specifically in a parking lot and so she was like i've made out in like seven different parking lots i go that's like a, a weird number of parking in the lots car and oddly or specific. Like standing yeah, in the car. she said it would be it, like whether it was in the car next to the car just Top standing the car. there she goes on the hood of the car and i go okay fuck i don't need to know that <laughs> but like she was just like in a variety of different locations in a parking lot I've made out in seven different parking lots. And I go, that's fucking weird. Like, that's a lot of parking lots. Yeah, I don't care for public uh, PDA. Neither do I. Which is why I wanted to ask this question of like, you know, obviously movie theaters, like, you know, public, but like, it's dark. Yeah. You pick a movie that nobody's going to see. I think I've worked in Oh, I actually. Don't cry. No, she's laughing. Oh, oh my God. I was like, Jesus Christ. I think, I think my answer might have to be it elevators oh (laughs) 
<lacht> wow. Oh, ich glaube, ich muss schwarz. Oh. <lacht> no, I, how often were you in an elevator? Yeah, how often, more importantly, how often were you making out in an elevator? Well, so I, when I lived at college, our, our buildings had elevators. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. So like we would, and I would go to see my college boyfriend and I would, we would go in the elevator to go up to his room. And God forbid you wait to get to his room. Really? <laughs> or like a, yeah. like a hotel elevator? Huh? No, like a hotel elevator? Is that a no-go for you I guys? don't think I've ever made out in an elevator. Oh, yeah. So mine's definitely an elevator. Prop, like, probably upwards of like, like 15 times. God. <laughs> Calm yourself, my lord. I've never been in an <laughs> elevator with a significant other. I don't think. I'm sure that I've like kissed a girlfriend in an elevator, but I've never made out with anyone in an elevator. There's just too much of a risk of that door opening. And I mean, like, granted, like you can stop me to hear the thing. No, when it's gonna open. Yeah. yeah. There's no risk in an elevator. So is that one guy 15 times, or is that 15 different guys? Well, I knew it's not 15 <laughs> different no. guys, but is it is it more than one guy? It might be. I feel like it's just the one. Hmm. No, mean? it's definitely more than one. More than two? I maybe. Well, any of you future uh, boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, bring Sarah in an elevator. <laughs> bring her in an elevator, and <laughs> you'll have a makeout sesh. So the reason I had to exclude the house, right? Because obviously, the most common answer that we received was couch. Yeah. Um, which then made sense. And then everyone was like, well, I guess bed. And I go, yeah, well, that's just like, that's obvious, right? Like what's yeah. like a weird, a unique place that you've made out before. And yeah, that's when have- people jump to like car, right? Um, the reason I excluded the whole house was because Emily brought up that her, she asked the, this question to her husband and he was like, "How old is this Emily? Emily, uh, she's 28. Oh, um she brought it up to him and he was like well I guess it would be the shower and then she goes oh yeah that's probably mine too and I go okay I don't need to know this shit (laughs) so I was like okay we're excluding the whole house and going with like unique places so like I'll take car because cars not everybody's making out in cars right we've grown up I feel like I feel like that is a next common place yeah after the house it's the car but like elevators a new one movie theater I'm waiting for somebody to be like, if you ever ask anybody else this question, be like, yeah, it seems to be Taco Bell for us. Taco Bell. You know, they're just like some public like, bathroom, you know, McDonald's, just, you know, they just like, oh, that'd food. be so weird. If, if anybody's made out in a fast food restaurant more than once, I'm concerned for them. Like one time it's like, okay, you were like drunk and horny, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if it's more than one time, I go, you have a problem. Yeah, it's like what? Go, go, why? Why? McDonald's? Like, what turns you on about McDonald's? <laughs> or what about McDonald's turns you on? That's all I got this week. <laughs> She's hurting my ears. You good, I Sarah? Fell asleep. Oh. It's because I sit so much, typing away. You have to. You have to make sure that you know you get up, you stretch every, every like. 10 minutes on the hour yeah right we have we have a picture in in our break room of like stretches you can do while sitting in a chair the gear good old uh i don't know what remember what it's called but it's you know where you do the the back thing you're no, just but like hey. Hey. <laughs> just yeah. like that you gotta stretch your fingers how 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 far back can you bring your fingers because like i can't do my fingers don't go back at all my no. hand goes back like is that fingers- far there's this girl I knew in middle school. Her fingers could touch your wrist. Yeah, like, fucking disgusting. Go backwards, and I'm like, what the fuck? My fingers are double jointed, like so. My thumb looks like this. <laughs> my fingers are double. Jointed. <laughs> and then I can make them look like this. Ooh, stop! Yeah, it. I have. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Sometimes they... to... Oh, it's this. It's that's. <laughs> Just oh, that one, though. God. Can't do it with any other ones. I'm stuck if I do it for too long. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should we go to trivia? 
Yeah, and I feel like I should have just looked up Christmas trivia. Oh, yeah. Um, we didn't really talk too much about Christmas on this episode, did we? <laughs> well, we can recap our Christmases next week. Yeah. 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 For our New Year's episode, we'll recap Christmas. Yep. Also, we're, we're dressing fancy next week, right? Why? New Year's. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, am, am I free next week? Christmas. You better be. That's Uncle Marty's birthday. Okay, yeah. get him on the pod. Christmas my pay hey. Uncle Marts. Uncle Marts. Oh my God, the answers are right there. Ah, didn't me? That was also the same exact trivia from last year, so it's okay. Okay, here we go. That's definitely also the same trivia from last year. Yeah, but it's not gonna, it was one question. Okay. They're all pretty simple, I think. Which shape, which screen are you sharing? This one. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Sarah, pick a number. Yeah, there's 22. Oh, no. 25? I think there's only two. Oh, hold on. What do we want? Christmas? Christmas. Pick a genre first. Oh, Christmas what are they? Foods, Christmas movies and movie. books. Um, Christmas traditions. And Christmas trivia questions. Just general answers. Christmas trivia. Okay, maybe we'll do general. Okay, so now pick a number one through 34. 25. 25. When was the first tree put up Ooh. at the Rockefeller Center? So they're looking for a year. Oh my God, I thought Dave was just going to click on it right away. Um, I would sure hope they're looking for a, a year. year. Okay, I feel like this is a little too recent, but. First Christmas tree to be put up at the Rockefeller Center. Okay. Okay, let's try. Um... I'm trying to think, like every year it's a new giant tree. How many giant trees are left in the world? Tons. This year it came from Maryland. Do I want to go? No, whatever. I'm going with, I think it's actually, I think this is too recent, but I'm going with it. I'm locked in. Locked in. I said 1985. 1972. I said 1962. We all picked a different decade. Come on. 1933. Are you fucking Holy me? crap. Are you kidding me? They've been doing that for almost a hundred years. It's crazy. Yo, shout out hundred years, Betty White, turning a hundred in January on January seventeenth. Fucking something. go, Betty. Can you believe that she was born in nineteen twenty two? It's wild. What is that? She was eleven when the first tree got put up. Yeah, she was eleven. So does Joe win because he was the closest? Yeah, yeah. naturally. Fortunately, that's over here. Dang it. You know. I'm just that good. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, okay, that good. You were literally 30, 29 years off. Yeah, so that brings us to Sarah, you're at three. I'm at six. Dave, you're at two and a half. Fuckers. I've gotten two points over the last three weeks. Mm-hmm. Let's fucking go. This has been Hey Babe. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Hey Babe. I listened to that episode today. Did you listen to the new one? Um. Are we promoting another podcast on our podcast right now? Yeah. yeah. The Christmas app. The Christmas uh, app. Yes. I, I, I didn't want, I watched it like when it came out and some kind of. It mixed, today. What? It comes out. To, it came out today. Oh, they move it. Oh, today's Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Oh, then no. Okay. I watched their last week's. Yes. Like, this one's their ago. Christmas episode. It's okay. pretty funny. I'm going to watch the network. <laughs> great, great cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. He does his thing. Well, like he builds it up, builds it up, and like he's gonna say something, and then he just goes, "This has been hey babe." Been he hey babe. Fucking damn! He doesn't say anything. Like the one I just watched. I'll quickly say this. He was, ah, uh, fuck. It was something about his daughter, I think, and he was just like, he he was just building it up so much. Like it was gonna be some very something very funny, and then he just goes, "This has been hey babe." He looks at the camera, and then they just both start dying laughing, and then they just. And sounds, I don't think they sounds frustrating. And did they? Funny. So did they make a Patreon yet? 
No. No. So they keep saying all these things that they're going to do. Like there, the was this, there was this dead fish that Sal had and he just kept it in <laughs> tin foil. And, for like eight years. Yeah, it just keeps it in his freezer or something like no, that. No, in his mom's freezer. It's been at his mom's house for eight years. Yeah. So they were like, oh, we're going to have like a funeral procession, get like, make like a little. Oh like, my thing. God. And they're like, oh, we'll put that on Patreon. There's like this whole running list of what they're going to put on Patreon. And not that I want to spend money, but like, I kind of want to see, wanna, it. <laughs> I wanna see what they do on this page. I'm, I'm this because I listen to Chris Stefano's uh, his own podcast, uh, Chris The Chris Chaos. Chaos. And he has a Patreon. That one's up and running. And the clips that the homeless pimp posts about the ones from the Patreon, I pee my pants that I'm like so close to subscribing to the Patreon. Yeah, you should watch them. I guess I They're so funny. <laughs> I gotta watch that one too. But, All right. Well, Dave, where can people find you? Um, at D Shark 101 on Twitter, underscore Dave Sharky underscore is my Instagram. Uh, shuffle podcast you can find them on find us on tiktok um which is at the shuffle podcast um i'm also on the tiktok which i'm pretty sure is underscore david sharky underscore uh or something mixed with my name d shark 11 sharky d 101 somewhere in there something in there uh with a d and a shark yeah most likely um either the week i i'm just gonna come with um toast totinos not tostitos not tostitos uh totinos pizza rolls pizza pillows pizza pillows um because why does it bother you so much sarah they are shaped like a pillow they're pizza rolls they're pizza rolls i will never call them pizza pillows yeah not but but not unironically but um oh okay uh but pizza pizza rolls dipped them in frank's hot sauce and um I had as a midnight snack, so it was very recent. I had a uh, can of Loganberry with them as well. Mm. Crystal Beach Loganberry. Love some Loganberry. Um, and that's everything. Right? Sarah? Um, at Sarah Bayless with three A's. Um, at you'll see it eventually. Um, Did and you then actually change e- it to that? Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> I haven't yet, but I will. No, <laughs> she'll change it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um. Eat of the week, I'm going to go with, um, you think it would be the pasta that I had, and I want it to be the pasta that I had, but yesterday, after my mom and I got COVID tested, we were starving, and we got Applebee's, and I got to say, the Applebee's just hit different. different. (laughs) I haven't had Applebee's in so long, but like, they, they, actually, the last time I had Applebee's, I had, uh, like, food poisoning or something. Oh. Like, I was... I'm just going to put it out there that my company does not own that Applebee's. <laughs> that <laughs> Applebee's, yeah, yeah specifically yeah, yeah. that one. But no, other than that, because I always get the same thing, bonus chicken wings, but the Applebee's, sometimes if you have a head in a while and you're just starving, oh, good. Applebee's hits different. Good stuff. What'd you get from Applebee's? Yeah. We got the crispy chicken wonton tacos. Oh, those are good. Tacos. Yeah. French fries, those hit different. The garlic green beans, and then my mom and I both got the whiskey bacon burger. Recently been craving a lot of different burgers, so that's been the vibe. Nice. Vibe check. Nice. (laughs) Uh, You can follow me on my photography Instagram at sharky underscore photography. You can follow me on my regular Instagram at secret agent sharky, and my YouTube channel at joe sharky. Um... My eat of the week has got to be, uh, God, it's tough. I don't know that I've eaten a lot of food this week. I'm being honest. <laughs> this kid never. Eats. Oh no, that's a lot. I went to uh, my friend Tyler. Uh, shout out, not the Tyler here. Uh, he just got here. Yeah, <laughs> I went to my friend Tyler's birthday dinner. We surprised him for his birthday at uh, Ford's Garage. Very nice restaurant down in uh, no, but not a very nice restaurant, but like a very good restaurant. Like Ford's garage. It sounds yeah. like a dive bar. Uh, it's very, very much like it. Just have like a bunch of old Ford cars. Um, so we were there. We surprised him for his birthday. It was really awesome. And I had a. The drink was a Ford's old fashioned, which is just an old fashioned, uh, very tasty. And I had a some sort of burger uh, that had like 
bacon jam. It was like barbecue bacon jam. So like little bacon bits and a very thick paste. Mm-hmm. Very good. And then it had crispy, very crispy onion rings. They were like two like fucking chunkers of onion rings. Wow. Um, amazing. Absolutely crushed. Um, crushed. Yeah. And the fries were not half bad. I'll, I'll eat, I'd eat them again. They weren't my favorite fries, but they were pretty tasty. Um, I think that was it. Very good. I would go back. 10 out of 10. Well, eight and a half out of 10. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. So uh, as for the podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at the shuffle. Po- uh, sorry, at CSG pod. That is CSG P O D. Follow us on TikTok like Dave at the shuffle podcast and subscribe to the YouTube channel at the shuffle podcast and follow along on Spotify and Apple podcasts all at the shuffle podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us for our Christmas episode. I can't jingle. Take us away, Dave. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye, everyone. Merry Christmas. Fucking end this shit. <laughs>